Now let's look at an artificial tooth and a real case alongside this. As is always the case, it is important to review our teeth when they are clean and dry and under good lighting. When we dry this tooth, we can see the extent of the caries lesion much more clearly. And when you look at the bite wing radiograph, we can see how close the caries tissue is indeed to the pulp in this situation. Prior to starting any procedure, preparation is key. Make sure you have all the equipment that you require for the procedure. Also note that this procedure in a patient will undoubtedly require the use of local anaesthetic. If we are to restore this tooth with a composite restoration, it is good practice to use rubber dam from the outset of the procedure. For this video, we have not shown you the placed rubber dam prior to preparing the cavity. Access the caries lesion using a high-speed rotary instrument with a diamond fissure burr. Remember, when using high-speed rotary instruments, patient safety is paramount. We also must be wary of how we position our instruments and ensure that we have a good finger rest. Our posture is also something that we need to consider as we will be performing these procedures multiple times a day throughout our working lives. And be mindful that you will be working with a nurse and so the ergonomics of this environment must be considered. Also remember that we must always use high volume suction and sufficient irrigation to keep our rotary instruments cool when performing these procedures. And it goes without saying we must protect the patient's cheeks and tongue. Once you have established clear margins, remove the soft, loose, carious dentine with a large rosehead burr in a slow speed rotary instrument. Once you have achieved the objectives, in other words, having hard cavity margins, but keeping the pulp protected, it is time to restore the tooth. 